Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 23rd, 2021. So yesterday we had a nice little bullish reaction putting in some interesting patterns on um, a couple of the charts anyway, but we still have some concerns that we have to deal with. Um, and this morning we're seeing just a little bit of bearish pressure on the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's see if we can make some sense out of these technicals and decide how we want to approach for the mar approach the market today in today's morning market prep video for Tuesday. So this morning, everyone, um, kind of an interesting thing. Um, yesterday we had um, the US, um, the UK, the EU, and Canada all sanctioned China. And this morning, um, the market is just kind of in a hesitation mode, wondering what the China retaliation could potentially be. We suspect that there will be one. Um, China is known for retaliating. And so um, apparently this has to do with uh, human rights violations. So um, the market's a little bit like holding its breath today. Now yesterday we had Jerome Powell. He came out and spoke and seemed to calm the nerves in the bond market. We got a little pullback. We'll look at that in just a second. However, they still are in a bullish trend. So we're going to want to keep a close eye on those bonds as well. Let's take a look at what we have going here in the chart. First off, I continue to, to show you this, but we're holding in a very, very bullish pattern here in the Dow. Um, there is uh, nothing in this chart that suggests bearishness at the moment. However, we do have this complication. If we were to pull back, if we were to continue this pullback, it could be rather painful. Um, just a pullback to this price support could um, be somewhere around six to 700 points to uh, just that level. And if we were to pull back into this larger level of price support, we're looking at um, 900 to 1,000 point uh, possible pullback. So pretty, pretty painful in the pullback if that were to occur. And there may be some reason why that could still occur when we look at the other indexes. So let's take a quick look at those. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY yesterday had a nice little bullish pattern and notice that we left behind this Morningstar type pattern. Unfortunately, that Morningstar type pattern really isn't responding to too much in the way of a price support level. There is some support right through here that we uh, are trying to grab onto in that chart, but it's not a, um, well, should I say significant level um, in the chart. And here's the problem that we continue to have. Um, we have failed back below that price support in the chart. We broke through, failed back below. I'm going to put on some, some lines here that are nice and straight, as you can see. So we failed back below that. We rallied yesterday and we tested that price level and we backed away from it. Now this morning we're seeing that little tiny bit of bearish pressure. And even though they're trying to rally this up in the pre-market, we still have that little bearish pressure here on that chart, which remember any kind of a candle pattern, if it is going to be validated, needs to see follow through. If we were to receive a, a selling day here and not follow through, that morning star pattern would become invalid, uh, particularly if um, this area of price support were to be breached. So we're gonna to have to keep an eye on that. Just, just know that SPY is underneath some price resistance. If we take a look at the Qs, Qs also left behind a nice pattern. And I mentioned this yesterday, we could be printing out this inverted, bullish inverted head and shoulders pattern, trying to compete with the bigger bearish 
head and shoulders pattern here in the chart. And we still have this resistance level and our 50 day moving average above. So notice we've tested up here a couple of times and we have failed. So we still have this resistance level and our 50 day moving average is running right through this area right in here. And um, just a little bit of a challenge. Could be in play here. Now what we're seeing right now, futures are trying to push up off of overnight lows. We saw some pressure in those. Um, in the pre-market, we're trying to push that up. Now it's going to be important if we're going to hold this pattern in here that is somewhat of a um, morning star pattern on the three candles right there. We need some bullish follow through on this, but let's just keep in mind, we've got a long ways to go here. We're still challenged by that 50 day moving average in that chart. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has come under some pressure here the last few days with the financial sector if you want to take a look at it take a look at like xlf um, and xle both of those sectors xlf and xle the financial sector and the energy sector have come under a little bit of selling pressure what that has created is a um, a breakdown of this support so we broke through tried to hold it as support or unable to do that and now yesterday we created a little bit of a lower high pattern here where we tried to rally up into that area saw some sellers and now we're getting follow through this morning to the downside so we now have the spy the Q's and IWM underneath some minor, I'm going to call them minor resistance areas, but that does raise a little bit of concern and add a little bit of that technical damage to the charts. If they were to follow through to the downside today, that could really intensify that technical damage. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday had a pretty good day. Big selling um, in that VIX pulling back and um, showing that we are breaking back down below this support level in the chart. I think that's a really good sign for the market. We need to continue to see that market fear dropping away. Unfortunately, I think this little bit of bearishness this morning could pop us right back up into there depending on how those bears respond to that if those bears have enough energy to push on through or not I can't tell you but we'll want to keep an eye on that we continue to bounce around this area but what we do want to see is we want to see that failure under here in fact what I want to see is I want to see a clear and definite failure a rally back and then that lower high failure to continue this little downtrend to the downside I want to see that failure in here as fear drops away um, in the market so keep a close eye on this has that bullish ramification here that we really want to keep an eye on. Then let's take a look at our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, T2122 does not give us or tell us whether or not we're, we will move up or move down on a daily basis. What it indicates to us is when we are overextended or uh, to the upside or overextended to the downside and it certainly did its job up here we were overextended up here to that upside and you can see we are in kind of the middle range here we have this nice little middle zone that we're trying to decide what we're going to do from here now this little bit of bearishness this morning could trigger us to that downside move here and we want to watch that closely um, because we do have a pretty big open area down here that we could still move down into. However, if those bulls step back up and fight hard in here, we could move back to the upside because we've opened up that upside door here. So watch that closely. A little bit of back and forth, no directional assumption here from T2122. Just that little bit of, hmm, what happens next? We're kind of waiting for that next shoe to drop. Let's take a look at our T2101. That's that absolute market breadth. 
and the breadth of the market continues to struggle with this downtrend line here we're going to want to keep a close eye on that we're trying 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 to push on up toward that level we're starting to get that little bit of mix in the market where we just have some companies moving up and a bigger bunch of companies moving down. And, and even though they were really pressing hard in the big techs yesterday, that meant a lot of other stocks were, were moving lower. Um, so we'll wanna keep an eye on that. Our breadth continues to be just a little bit of a challenge here um, in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. But actually, before I do that, let's take a quick look at um, our 10-year Treasury yields. Now, yesterday, Jerome Powell um, said some calming words, waved his magic wand, and the Treasury yields pulled back just slightly. And we were celebrating that with a bullish move in the NASDAQ. But let's take a look here. I'm not sure that we can really um, feel real comfortable here yet with that 10-year yield. It really wouldn't be all that much of a surprise at any point in time to see um, this perk back up, uh, pretty normal. Um, where we would respond um, to the trend. Now, what we're going to want to see is we want to see this trend breaking down. And so far, um, that's not the case. So I think we really need to keep our eye on these bonds. And remember, there's just a, a nonstop bond auction going on basically um, at the Fed. We're just, we're just nonstop. If we didn't, if we get, get any hesitation, um, in these bonds there we could see some market ramifications so please keep an eye on that as we progress let's take a look at our economic calendar now our economic calendar does have a couple things that we're going to want to pay attention to today one of those being um, housing numbers today we've got new um, home sales and expectations in the consensus is that we're going to see those new home sales diminishing pulling back we did see a a little bit of a lower of existing home sales new home sales are expected to see that pullback partly because of the um, really high prices um, of housing um, at this point and um, the expense of lumber really driving um, those prices higher. And then notice, um, other than that, we just have a flurry of Fed speak. I mean, a flurry of Fed speak all day. Um, Jerome Powell will be speaking at noon. And notice, we just all through the afternoon we have speakers. Um, they apparently have an awful lot to say right now. Keep in mind that there are some bond auctions. We have very short-term bond auctions today. Um, those have not been a problem. It's those longer-term bond auctions that continue to be a bit of an issue. So keep a close eye on that. Remember, tomorrow we also have Jerome Powell um, speaking. And first thing in the morning, we're going to have those durable goods orders as you're planning your day forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar um, has quite a few companies on it, but a lot of those companies are not uh, verified reports. However, we do have some notables today that might be pretty interesting to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at GME. GameStop will be reporting today, and after all of the goofiness that's gone on in GameStop, that might be an interesting one to keep an eye on. We can maybe expect quite a little bit of volatility there. Um, watch that closely. Um, Chewy. Um, Chewy um, clearly benefited from, uh, massively benefited from coronavirus as people started buying their pet foods and pet supplies online during coronavirus. And as you can see, um, we've been trying to place a little bit of a double bottom here on that chart. We need to break this downtrend and confidently hold that for that opportunity for Chewy to respond back higher. We'll want to recognize the fact that we still have significant levels of price resistance here in the chart that still need to be dealt with. But breaking above the downtrend, holding it as support, if we can get that bullish report, we might try to resume that uptrend in Chewy. Um, later today, we're gonna hear from Adobe 
Adobe will be an interesting port report to keep an eye on. One of the um, only big techs reporting um, uh, today, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice Adobe has been in an overall struggling pattern, downtrending, but we're trying to reverse that just a little bit here in the short term, testing some price resistance in the chart. So we'll want to keep an eye on Adobe today as it reports. How about Home? Home will be reporting. Whoops, that's not Home. Home will be reporting today, and this has been a, a tremendous upside move here um, in home. Very, very bullish in this chart. It'll be an interesting port to keep an eye on. Notice that we're back up here and we are challenging some all-time highs in home. Let's keep a close eye on that as it reports. And then we have HU. YA um, that I pulled out on the list today. Keep in mind this has a little bit of a pattern that is a bit concerning. It's not a very clear pattern, but we have this little head and shoulders type pattern kind of forming in here. We're struggling with some price resistance in, in HUYA. Let's keep an eye on this. And also note that we are in a current downtrend, so we'll want to keep an eye on this. Um, as it tries to hold on to that support. This could go either direction on that um, news today. INFO is also on the list. Whoops. INFO, we'll want to keep an eye on that. This has a nice bullish pattern in it, and this nice resting pattern. I, I really like these little resting pullbacks that hold a support level. Let's keep an eye on this. If that gets a good bullish um, um, earnings report today could perk that higher so keep a close eye and the last I have is SCS for a possible notable today steel case we'll want to keep an eye on that notice that we have been traveling in this kind of gradual upside trend it intensified here just recently and now we're pulling back so watch that carefully as this reports today let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be useful in preparing for the day please click that um, please click that um, thumbs up button leave that brief comment and please please share this video out on your social media feeds that helps us continue to grow and one more time I just got a shout out uh, there was uh, some more folks that utilized the buy the coffee um, link. Um, if you look right underneath the title of the video, you can buy a coffee to help support the channel. And I just want to say thank you so much. Um, um, you guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So big shout out to you folks that are helping out that way. You guys are awesome. So let's take a look at some stocks setting up. Now, we do have to be a little bit careful here today with this little bit of back and forth, but let's um, be really, really focused here on this price action and, and um, look at some of these charts, see if we can find some good entry points. One of them I'm keeping an eye on is DD. Now DD um, ran into a little bit of trouble. Um, we had this really nice pattern. We popped up, we ran into that market volatility um, in here, but I don't see this as a major problem yet. We're still kind of holding in this little price support area in here. All we need to see is that little bit of bullishness in the market, and this could push on through to make some of those um, upside highs possible. So watch that closely, DD. Uh, looking pretty decently. Let's take a look at MU. Now, MU had a really big pop the other day. We pushed up hard and we smacked our head directly into that price resistance. But if we take a look at our trend right here, we have this little trend trying to resume. And now we've pulled back and we're resting and we're trying to hold on, on the top of this price support. And we're looking right in here to see if we can catch that bullish pattern to finally, whoops, to push us on through to that upside. Now we still have to make note of this resistance level in the chart, but the fact that we're responding to price support and price trend would give me a little bit more confidence in this that we could build the energy to push on through on Micron. So keep a close eye on that. We had a really good day in Cisco. 
yesterday. Cisco rallying sharply, breaking through price resistance in the chart. Now, I suspect we're going to get a little bit of pullback, and we're seeing a little bit of that pullback this morning. But notice we broke through a substantial level of price resistance in this chart. So Cisco, with a little risk or pullback in here, could set up that nice upside opportunity. Keep a close eye on Cisco. Put that one on your list. Pretty decent looking chart. Now let's take a look at Pfizer. I ended up picking up some Pfizer yesterday. So I have a bias on this chart, but Pfizer starting to perk up here. Now this is a little bit early. I want, you, I want to warn you, this is a little bit early um, in this trade. But what I'm looking at is this nice little rally, this nice little consolidation, and we had that bullishness coming in here on this chart. Now this is a divvy payer company, and um, we've been seeing a lot of those consumer cyclicals, consumer defensive sectors, uh, consumer durables being very, very strong, along with some uh, of those um, industrials looking very strong. So a nice divvy payer here, and um, is starting to perk up. Now I placed my order on this, and here's my moving averages. Let me remove all these lines. Here's my moving averages. Notice that we pushed up through and we held the 50-day moving average. My 50-day moving average is that blue line right there. And not only are we holding the 50, we're holding above our 200-day. So we have a little bit of a moving average squeeze trying to trigger on Pfizer in this area. Now I can't tell you if it's gonna actually push on through. So it may be a little bit early, but a nice looking chart. And um, I think one that you might wanna keep a close eye on. Um, let's take a look at KHC. Now KHC I've been mentioning over and over and over. KHC, I wouldn't wanna chase it at this point. We're pushing back up here toward that high, getting a little bit of pullback this morning. But notice KHC continues to respond well climbing 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 up this trend so keep an eye on khc i'm going to mention at&t today for a longer term watch keep an eye on this at&t big dividend dividend payer they're trying to sell their viacom unit that will help the company a lot keep a close eye on this it's holding into this price support area um, trying to break that downtrend, we have a major resistance above. You may actually want to wait on um, AT&T to wait and see if it can break out and hold up here. That would be perfectly acceptable, but keep a close eye on this, trying to move on up in these charts. And then I'm going to have to mention 3M. Now you guys know I'm in 3M. I've been holding 3M. This is one I did hold 3M continuing to move up. If we look at this on a weekly chart, which is how I'm trading it, boy, you just don't get much more of a bullish chart than that on the weekly. Notice breaking that downtrend, holding it as support, pushing on through to the upside. So a few of those longer term charts we might want to be taking a look at. Last but not least, I'm going to mention Microsoft. Now Microsoft, I'm going to, here's the daily chart and we're stuck in this um, rising wedge here that we have. And I'm going to take a look at the weekly. This is the chart I'm interested in. Um, we see Microsoft holding above a price support here in the chart hanging out in here and just kind of resting its way over to trend. I want to keep an eye here on Microsoft and I think Microsoft of the big techs, Microsoft might be one of those betters that we could pick up for a longer term hold to the upside. Keep a close eye on Microsoft. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Have um, have a safe day. Be careful. Keep your eyes on those bonds. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.